Elevators, also called as lifts, have become an essential part of our lives. In fact, if we live in high-rise buildings, it gets difficult to get to our homes if we don't have a lift inside. But did you know that elevators were initially used only to transport goods up and down because it was considered unsafe for passengers? That's because most of the time, these elevators worked on a rope and pulley system and there was a person pulling the platform up and down. While they had guiding rails to keep the platform in place, there was nothing that could be done if the rope snapped or if the person lost control of the platform. This made it extremely unsafe for people. The first elevators that were suitable for people came around when Elisha Otis established a locking mechanism for the platform. Over the years, this safety mechanism developed by Otis has paved the way for the development of skyscrapers and high-rise buildings. With the proliferation of skyscrapers, engineers began to experiment with the design and mechanism of elevators. When it became evident that electricity-powered elevators were safe and reliable, they became an integral part of building designs. And when sensors and detectors were developed in the late 1800s, they were used in elevators to open and close the doors automatically. Now let's take a look at the different types of elevators that are there. Hydraulic elevators use a piston to move the passenger cabin up and down. A reservoir containing incompressible fluid is connected to the piston cylinder assembly through a pipe. When the fluid is pumped into the cylinder, sufficient pressure is developed to push the piston upwards, moving the passenger cabin up. The compressed fluid is released slowly from the cylinder to move the passenger cabin back down. But these types of elevators can be used only in shorter buildings. As you might have imagined, the traction elevator requires a motor to operate and is placed above the elevator chamber, which is also called as the hoistway. But in machine roomless elevators, this motor is integrated into the hoistway itself. The latest avatar of elevators is the vacuum elevators, which is very similar to the hydraulic elevators that we saw before. The mechanism is actually quite simple. There is a large tube inside which the passenger cabin is placed. In order for the elevator to move up, air is sucked out from the top part of the tube, increasing the pressure below. This difference in pressure causes the passenger cabin to move up. And in order for the passenger cabin to move down, air is slowly released from the bottom part of the tube, which again causes a pressure difference that pushes the passenger cabin down. As you can see, we have come a long way in terms of elevator technologies. We've used everything from ropes and pulleys to fluid differences to take us to new heights. And the next time you get into an elevator, we are sure you'll be able to appreciate the technology behind it. Until then, stay tuned to Skill Link.